Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. As many of you struggle with data store, grab your coffee, and prepare yourself. I'll try to always upload helpful videos. Feel free to like and sub. My goal is to help as many people as possible. Now enjoy this video about data store. Focus well. I'll leave the code in the description. I will simplify everything. First of all, we need to gain access to data store service so we can create our data store instance. In the second line, we created our data store by using to get data store method. Next steps, we want to load data when our player joins. That's why we used the player added event. In the next few lines, we are placing the data in a folder as integer values. Then we place the folder inside our player so we can access later on these values and increase them or use them for other purposes. Now we use get async to retrieve the data data and we give it a unique key which is a reference for our player's data it's like this the key in our case is unique we take the player id and add a string so it becomes unique to avoid hackers from assessing the player's data if you keep it as the id only everyone can gain access to it we check if the data exists it means that our player has already played the game else we can give him a default value Next we have the saving process. We are using the player removing, like when our player is leaving, to save the data. I'm using pcall to avoid errors. I have already made a video about it. Feel free to check. It simply keeps the code running. Even if there are errors, we use the set async to save the data, and we gave it two parameters. The first one is the key that we will use to get the values. The second one is the value. Then the pcall will return. True if the code has no errors. If that's the case, then we store our data successfully. Else it means that there is an error and we can print it, so we can solve the issue. What about storing multiple data? Don't worry I got you, I'll explain it now. The same way I explained the first parts, only changes are, instead of storing one value, we will store multiple values in a table, but those tables, we are going to use keys to reference our data instead of index. We usually do table of one to reference a value in a table, but this time we are going to use keys to get the data. Don't worry it's not hard. This is an example of a normal table, and this is an example of a dictionary. We are assigning a key to each value to get it later by using tab of coins to get the value, or tab dot coins that's a dictionary after parenting the data folder to our player and getting the data we check if it exists in that case we give our player his coins and gems because our data ain't one value it's a table as known as dictionary and that's how we access the values as i said each value has a key assigned to it now we move to when our player is leaving the game we created an empty table. Then we created the first key that will hold the coin's value and another key for our gem's value. And we finally store the table. As I said, you can watch the pcall video. It's useful. I hope you guys understood it. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I read every single comment. Again, my goal is to help as many people as possible. You can also suggest video ideas. Thanks everyone. We are close to 1000 subs. 